What's going on YouTube? It's your boy KJ for Life here with another YouTube video. This time we are back and we are where we left off at. I want to say, yeah, we left off on that ride. There was, um, there was a ride that we had to do and for some odd reason it tried to kill us. And then we saw the big old worm and yeah, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to start not explaining it too, too much to y'all. Because y'all gotta go watch the other video, okay? Go watch the other video. Stop skipping ahead. Be like everybody else. Be a normal person. Anyways, we're still in the search for, as you can see up there on the top left, we're still on the search for Victor. And um, we have to be careful. What's happening over there? Oh my god. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. That was horrible. Someone, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, comrade major. Okay. The distribution Anyways, center I'm back feet. For is in Sorry about that. On the other side. Oh yeah. There's sit no back. way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. Everybody sit back, relax, enjoy the gameplay. Like I said, I try to make it easier for y'all because I don't try to talk a lot. How a lot of other people like to talk during gameplays. I don't try my best to. I am Twitch streaming on Twitch. So if y'all want to come by, say hello on Twitch. The link is down in the description below. Please come say hi. Keep saying say bye. Keep saying what is up. And this is where... I, this is where I start like... Figuring out what's going on. Oh! I didn't know what that is. Oh, I thought it was like a Honey, you're back. What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh-huh. Like I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful, Missy. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Also, yeah, we have a sexualized robot no, that, that give me laser protection. Oh, sexualized so robot. Brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. What you the fuck? No time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us your polymer apart. inside of me. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. <laughs> punch you. Or tear you apart. You'd really kill me over a stupid glove, sugar? How would you survive in this cruel, violent world without me? Easily. It's not like you're actually helping me or anything. But I can't make things for you out of thin air, sugar. I need polymer and other components to work. Put your polymer inside me so I can pleasure you. Oh my god. Dear Jesus. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Ah! Joy. What the fuck? Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes. yes. Oh my god. Me, master. I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Fucking what? <laughs> I didn't think it was going to keep on going. Jesus Christ. On a stick. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the lake. Holy crap. She was going in on that, by the way. Polymer jet. Okay. Oh, crap. That hurt. That thing packs a punch. Oh my god. I don't like this. Are you okay? 
Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Oh my Major god. Major Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Robots around. It's almost like there is property. I don't like that. Goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the. Oh God. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex. A candle. Right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector, and we'll have to track him down again. So that's Petrov, the guy that is, um... What is that? I don't know. Um, so Petrov... Oh, there it is, that's it. So many dead bodies, though, by the Charles, way. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Oh, thank you. Is it the famous Peck 4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree Peck 4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. That's cool. I asked what it was, and they tell us. They're in the wall. Can you hear them? Scurrying around. I'm scared. I'm really scared of them. Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply. But they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said sorry, but I, I really don't want to hear this right now. Attention. Uh-oh. So there's other things than robots? I don't like that. Because if there's... Okay, so here's the thing. If there's other things than robots, what could it be? Got it. So... Do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be oh, another one. in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like... an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even there throw we go. it intentionally. 
Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. So we just find other places to put it. Okay, so that's not good, right? What the fuck is happening here? That hurt me. Nothing. Everything's going haywire. But the question is, why did he do it? Because if you think about it, he literally is destroying everything like he that's a lot of polymer a save room yeah that sounds like Petrov's voice I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. I hope so too, but now we'll never know what happened. So, what will it be, Major? Because, like, if he if he dies, wouldn't that just be bad? Because Access granted. I don't think that's good. If he does die. Because you gotta think about it this way. If If he does Right What's that do? Oh, that's pretty neat. Stay one more time. So he's dead, right? Or somewhat dead, right? He has to be. Oh wait, can I get in there? Hold on. I can't get in there. I okay. can't. What's up, Reaper? Okay. So we gotta find out where he's at because he's screaming Why I, a neurosurgeon. where is he at just don't it just looks don't. like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials Got it. You hear other people's thoughts. Oh, hello. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. What is this? Well, what do we have here? The fuck was that? Oh! I get. 
I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. I can't I can't put it down, I can't put it down. I gotta put it down. I couldn't fucking run. I couldn't use my weapons. can't let them put back up the cameras because the cameras are one way that we can get around without song, but I like the girl's voice is that a radio of the future indeed it is professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics who are you just talking to forgive me I'll explain it in terms you can understand the Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine after all. Neat. Who's that? Who are you talking to? Hello? What is that? Oh, what the heck? I got a pistol. Electro? I can make that, right? Can I make the electro? Try to find out. It's Noira. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. How do I make it? That stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Give me a weapon. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl. Stroll up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long. Did oh you my like it, God. Stop. <laughs> for real. I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself, hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. I find it insane that they made a robot sexual. Recirculation chamber? All right, here we go. It is mildly interesting that they were Charles, like, mm. what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves and the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared. Someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is that damn well be. fucking Regardless, piece of dog Petrov shit was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor however Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner you mean she's sexual is that what you mean Got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. Pretty neat. Whew, this place is huge. Uh, visit Nora repair uh, repair vendor often, and don't forget to learn active skills and upgrade your weapons to complete missions as efficiently as possible. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. 
Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Let's in Charles. I don't really care. Crispy oh, critters. They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised. Bitch. Oh, we gotta run. Run, bitch, run. you oh my god all right can we go We're going up. I need ammo. I don't have any. Okay, what now? that doing in here oh is that another weapon a pm weapon ergonomics use energy weapons guns and melee weapons wisely in order to allocate your resources efficiently authorization major nichayev oh, i got a pistol thank you Thank you. Please select the desired procedure. I need ammo for both. The pistol and the shotgun. So, what will it be, mate? And then I need the PM weapons. Really? I don't have any. Please select the desired procedure. Cartridge guns. Oh. I'll make this up. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but I just jumped up here and I I'm just gonna keep on going like I know what know what I'm doing.
I'm gonna act like I know what I'm doing. We're going in. Pure, that was a pure guess, by the way. I, they didn't tell me how to do that one. I just pressed I know A. You're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Crispy Shit. critters. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard? This is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be uh -oh. worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the Keep essence. going. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10 4 Come with me. Moving out. I have an idea that we need. Both of these. from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system the life support system has four primary functions maintaining optimal temperature eliminating insects in other words four columns four canisters uh oh quick question this is what i don't understand why are there dead robots on the floor? Right? So like, okay, okay, okay. So listen, and that's a canister. Fading data. Please select the desired procedure. So like there is... Dead robots on the floor, right? Ah, boiler room. So this way is the boiler. So I'm guessing. Wait, mm, algae pet inside workshop and cold workshop. So I'm guessing this Charles, is. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. This Am is the I hot shop. Turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. All right, what did that say? Boiler room. The floor. Planning and competition. So boiler room this way. What's that? It doesn't tell me what that is. 
Hot workshop this way. Like not in a boy. Not in a Oh man. Sounds like we're gonna have fun, ain't it? Oh wait, what's that? Dynamo. Oh. I need a Max Ween. I need a Max Ween. Wait, do I go this way? That way. Why do I give my person Y to jump? Is it this way? Stop with the eerie music. I'm it's a fucking hell, dude. Oh. Okay. Well, that's good to know that that's there. Floor two. Thought, math, science, polymers. Question mark. Okay. Part of the robots, peaceful Adam. There's no. Thank you. Alright. Kill them all. Ah, uh, the boilers look like they're about to blow. What are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead and just put you down. Put him down! Good job. Put him down. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. I thought that was a robot. Okay. Pull off the boilers. Alright, so how do I do okay, that? I found the opening. What? Because there's like a ball or something? Oh. Intriguing. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Go away. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? Wow. That's kind of cool. Can you stop showing up? I don't need to be fighting you. I said that one. Oh, wait. Where are they coming from? So we had to push them all through here, right? It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. Okay. 
There we go. Smart. Stop respawning. Anybody else want to respawn? Can you stop too? Listen, I will kill every single one of y'all. Leave me alone. Alright. Gonna go one more time, right? So now we need to somehow get it to over there. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Babylon complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. I am following it. The boiler's okay. too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. I'm going down. It's like a fucking uh, puzzle. Not puzzle. What do you call those things? Well, and we did it. Employees may return to their workstations. I don't know, I got time for y'all shit. Come we... major. Yes. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry, it's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. Yes, and you that's did. not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as Ugh. I can remember, anyway, I let him down. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? That's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. All right, so what now? What's the hot workshop used for? Heat resistant polymers are made here, but most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. How? Oh, that's right here. Can I? Oh, I see. All right, got it. Up here. And up here. Up, buddy, up, buddy, up, up, up. The canisters we... fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. I want to know what that is over there. Canister! Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Put that, we should head back before something bad happens. Foreshadowing much? Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of this homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> 
too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Let me go this way. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with the collective research go and they connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. We got one of the canisters already, so that's perfect for us. We don't think we know need we need to get the other three. God knows how that's going to take, but I do appreciate y'all. Uh, like and comment, share, subscribe, and of course, you know what I mean? Doing the basic stuff that we know. Um, know what to do with, you know what I mean? So, please, I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all, appreciate y'all, and bye-bye.